Hello! One of the great things about Canva is that you never have to start from scratch, besides the use of templates, which is covered in another video. Canva also allows us to share files within our CLPVD team. Anyone can access a shared file, make a copy for themselves, and then make adjustments to that copy to suit their own needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a copy of the file, update it, save it to your computer, and also organize it within your library's Canva account. When you're in your Canva account, you're going to want to make sure that you're logged into your branches account and also into the CLPVD team. If you haven't selected the CLPVD team, if you're in another team or you haven't chosen a team, then you won't have access to all the resources you need. So you want to make sure that in the upper left hand side you see the initials for CLPVD team, which is CT, and in the upper right hand corner you see the initials for your own branch in this case FP with the small CT circle right next to it. Once you've selected the right team, click on projects and then take a look at that drop down menu. If it's set to your projects, you'll only see files that your branch has created. So you want to be on shared with you because that shows you files that have been submitted across all of the different branches. You can go to folders and scroll through all the various folders. I happen to have one called Fox Point Library where I've saved a design that I made previously for my branch. So you can't alter files that other people have made, but if you click on a read only file, you can copy it. And that creates another version which you can rename so that it is now your file with a new name. So I'm going to pretend that Rochambeau would like the exact same flyer that I made for my open studio for their open studio. Some of this information will stay the same. A lot of it will. The PVDL Maker's logo is still applicable. The pictures are correct. The text is mostly correct but we need to change a couple of things. So you can click on any of the text boxes and highlight and delete the text that you want to change and type in Rochambeau Library. That made this a little bit too long, so I'm going to click once on the text box. And then I'm going to go up to the text size, the font size, and just click the minus one time to make it a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna move it up and down until I feel like it's centered properly. I'm gonna get rid of the name of the interns. Maybe there are no interns or maybe you replace it with the name of the interns at your library. I'm gonna actually make this text bigger now since I don't have those interns names there. This way it'll just to me, it looks like it fits a little bit better, so I made the text bigger. I made it go down onto the second line, and then I centered it. The other text we need to change is, of course, the contact information. So you can zoom in by, by dragging that slider over to the right. And then now you can change any of the text within that text box, just like you did in the other text boxes. I didn't have to change the size or anything for that, which is convenient. 
And then the last thing I'm going to change is the logo, of course, because this is for the Rochambeau library. And on the left, among all of these tabs, one of them is called logos, where we'll find all of our new logos for each branch, as well as for the library system as a whole. When I clicked on the Rochambeau logo, it automatically centered itself in the design, but it's too big and it's in the wrong spot. So I'll just scroll up there and get it and drag it down to the corner and shrink it down by clicking on the circle in the corner of the logo and dragging it inward until I've got it the size that I want it. Then I can delete that. Fox Point logo and center the Rochambeau logo right there in that white box that is left. The more you zoom in, the more control you have over small movements up and down, left and right of anything you're dragging around. And that's all I need to change. So this was just a couple quick changes. Now it's a matching flyer, but it's been updated with information for Rochambeau instead of Fox Point. To save this and print it, you'll click the share button in the upper right hand corner and it gives you a lot of things to look at but you want download sometimes you'll actually have to scroll down to get to download then it brings you to another screen where you can leave all of those settings the same click download one more time and finally you'll see it downloading and it will appear at the bottom of your browser window for you to open up this automatically saves so you can close this tab which brings us back to our Canva homepage. If we go to projects and we're still in shared with you, we'll see the original file that we borrowed. So we have to click your projects and now we can see the one renamed Rochambeau. It'll appear under designs as well, but we can see it floating conveniently at the top if we are in the all tab. So if you click the three buttons in the upper right hand corner and choose move to folder, this time click on your projects. I'm going to make a new folder. You can put it in an existing folder, of course. And then click add to new folder. Now, still under your projects, if you click the folders tab, other designs folder has appeared and inside it you'll find our new flyer.